Does carbon neutral concrete exist? Well, today we want to talk about a company called Carbocrete, which has made incredible progress in this field. First, let us address the elephant in the room. What is carbon negative concrete and why do we need it? Carbon negative concrete is a type of concrete that absorbs more carbon dioxide than it emits during its production. You see, normal concrete that we create from mixing potland cement with ballast, sand, and water emits a lot of CO2 gas during manufacturing of cement and during the setting of concrete. Carbocrete offers precast concrete manufacturers the process, materials, and support to produce high-quality precast concrete in their existing plant at a lower cost and in a way that reduces their carbon footprint. Their technology enables the production of cement-free, carbon-negative concrete using industrial byproducts and captured CO2. What is captured CO2, you ask? Well, carbon capture is a process in which a relatively pure stream of carbon dioxide CO2 from industrial sources is separated, treated and transported to a long-term storage location. The idea behind carbon capture is to capture the CO2 generated by burning fossil fuels before it is released to the atmosphere. Why do we need carbon-neutral concrete? Well, you see a sustainable zero-carbon global economy will literally and figuratively rest on concrete. It is the world's most used building material. It is ubiquitous, versatile, affordable, durable, strong, and recyclable, and is the second most consumed substance in the world after water. Therefore, carbon-neutral concrete is needed to reduce carbon footprint and help combat climate change. So we replace cement with something known as steel slag, which is an industrial waste byproduct of the steel making business. We grind it up to the consistency of cement and replace cement in the mixture 100% remove about 55 kilograms of CO2 per ton of concrete, whereas regular concrete is carbon positive by approximately 200 kilograms. This is a concrete masonry unit, it's 18 kilograms. Um, normally there's two kilograms of cement that go into it. For every kilogram of cement, there's a kilogram of CO2 that's emitted during the manufacturing process. So with our technology, you avoid two kilograms of CO2 emissions and then we actually permanently mineralize within the product during the curing process about 500 grams of CO2. So that's how it gets carbon negative. It's about the same cost as making regular concrete. Uh, so I would say that we'll be using our technology in buildings in the middle of this year.